Oh my god, that is a scary shit I've ever seen in my life. We're gonna die! We're gonna die! <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna be testing out a new gas mask that I just received, and that is the NB100 Echo from Parcel Safety. Now, full disclosures out of the way, I did not pay for this gas mask. It was provided to me by Parcel Safety for review, but I'm actually very happy that they did hit me up because I was on the lookout for a new gas mask because the one I had before wasn't really fitting my needs necessarily, mostly because that other gas mask, I couldn't wear it with a helmet. Now, the reason why being able to wear a gas mask with a helmet is especially important, at least to me, is because I believe that if you're gonna wear a gas mask in any type of tactical environment, you should be able to wear it with a helmet because that helmet has your ear protection on it, your comms, and it is also how you mount your night vision. All of which I think are necessary pieces to any type of tactical kit. And if I was to wear a gas mask in that type of scenario, I would wanna wear my helmet with it. Now, before we get into the specs on this particular mask, what is my experience wearing a gas mask professionally? Well, while I was in Army at 1st Ranger Battalion, I remember one particular training cycle while we were preparing to possibly go up against a near peer adversary who was particularly fond of using chemical warfare and other nefarious I remember one specific event where we had to do a mock raid on a village and we were wearing the full PPE, including the suit, the gas mask and everything. And I remember hating life as a saw gunner because running around with a gas mask on sucks and we're clearing houses and just I was hating life and I was wondering why the heck we were wearing all this stuff until we finally went into a basement and in said basement they flooded it with CS gas and at that point I was very happy that I had all of my stuff on and we're going to be actually replicating that here very shortly with our own little test so stay tuned. With that out of the way what are the specs on this particular mask? Well this mask accepts standard 40 millimeter NATO style filters. And what's cool about this is you can actually switch it from right to left. As you can see on here, I have it on the left side because I am a right-handed shooter and you don't want that filter in the way of you bearing down on your rifle. So if I was a left-handed shooter, I'd be able to unscrew this little plug right here and put this on the right side. What I'm very fond of is the lens. I said before, you can easily wear this in conjunction with a helmet, but I'm very fond of the field of view. This thing has a 200 degree field of view while other gas masks that usually have like a little circle eye ports really limits your ability to see what's around you. It also has anti-fog capabilities, which is awesome because when you're running around doing tactical stuff, especially when it's a little bit warmer out, you don't want your gas mask fogging up and you not being able to see what's around you and you having to take it off and having to wipe that stuff out. So it not fogging up on you is very important and what's cool about this particular mask. One particular cool feature about this gas mask, so this is the NB100 Echo. This is the more expensive version. It costs around $500. And what you're paying for is this Vox unit that you see here. So you can activate this Vox unit by pressing this button right here. Powered on by Parcel Safety. <laughs> and when you activate that, you can actually speak this thing and actually hear what everyone's saying around you. So if you don't have a Vox unit on your gas mask, it is very hard for your teammates to know what you're saying and communication is very important if you're working part of a team. Another cool thing about this Vox unit is it actually has radio communication uh, capabilities. So if you press this button here on the right side, it has four different channels that you can tune into and you can actually do radio communications via this Vox unit. Power off. Thank you for trusting parcel safety. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a way to disable that little voice that goes off. And another kind of thing that's a little bit annoying is this red blinking light here. I'm sure that's to tell you everyone around you that it's active, but if I were to use this in any type of tactical environment, I'd probably put a piece of tape over this just so it's not having a blinking light um, in the darkness. And how you charge this thing is with this little mini USB cord right here. You just plug it in right there and you can charge it. I somehow lost a little rubber cover on here. So if I were to use this thing, I would put a tape over this and tape over the, the uh, USB port right here as well, just so dirt doesn't get in there. But pretty cool little Vox unit. And attached to it, you also see this hose right here. So this is so you can drink out of your NBC um, capable canteen. So you can actually hydrate while wearing your gas mask without having to take it off. So with all the specs out of the way, why as a prepared citizen 
would you consider getting yourself a gas mask like this? Well, personally, I think that you are far more likely to need something like this than something like a play carrier or a chest rig. You know, that's not sexy um, and might upset some people, but I think that you are far more likely to encounter a situation. Maybe there's, you know, smoke in the area, a toxic spill. Maybe there's riots going on and the local authorities are using stuff like tear gas to quell said riot. I'm not saying to be part of that riot, but if you're moving through that area, you don't want to be one of the ones that are choking on that gas. And that's actually what we're going to be testing here very shortly. My wife is actually going to have the pleasure of gassing me. I'm going to be in a room that's behind me. We're going to feed this little hose. So this is actually a tear gas grenade. It's not really a grenade. It's more of a aerosol can that has this hose on it, but this thing is full of CS gas and we're gonna flood the room while I'm wearing this gas mask and see if I die or not. So it should be interesting. Let's check it out. All right guys, so how this test is gonna go is I'm gonna be held up inside this room right here. Um, this is my last holdout spot while the anti blue gene operator task force is outside and their first um, measure to get me out of here is to tear gas me. Uh, little do they know, I'm gonna be pulling a pro gamer move and have one of these things on me so that tear gas shouldn't affect me. Let's see. I'm gonna be sitting inside this room right here while we feed the hose through that little vent right here. This door that you're seeing right here will be closed and hopefully this room full, fills full of the gas and hopefully uh, this mask does its job. So without being said, Let's get into this test and uh, hopefully I survive. Powered on by Parcel Safety. Cool. All right, guys, when you're putting on a gas mask, one thing you want to make sure is that the seal is extra tight. So I'm going to put this down here. Oh, check, 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 check. All right, so hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to make sure these straps are extra tight here. Should be good. And one way to check the seal is that you press your hand against the filter, suck in, and if the gas mask sucks against your face, that means they have a good seal and they're not getting air uh, escaping through the seals here on the side. So we're good to go. Ready? Yeah, as ready as I can ever be. Oh my god, that is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. So if I said, oh my god, it's funny. <laughs> what happened to that? Oh, it's not going to be good. Oh my god, that is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Is that it? Alright, hold on, let me do a sneak. Yowzers. <laughs> God. Well, guys, that was a pretty interesting test. I can feel when I took that gas mask off to test like what it was like actually in that room. I could feel that CS gas burning everywhere where I shaved this morning. And uh, overall, this thing did its job. I, I didn't know, I couldn't tell that that CS gas grenade was doing anything to that tiny little room until I took the gas mask off and I immediately started burning. My eyes started burning everywhere where I shaved uh, started burning and I immediately put it back on and I was like, yep, the mask did its job. Overall, it was a pretty cool test and again, when you're using a gas mask, you need to make sure that you have a proper seal. Since I had a proper seal inside of there, I couldn't tell anything was like affecting the room until I broke that seal even in the slightest and I started burning. So having a gas mask in a scenario like that could prove to be very beneficial. So overall, would I recommend getting yourself a parcel safety gas mask? 
I say that these things are pretty awesome. I like the feel of view on these things. They obviously work based on the test that I just did back there. Um, I do like the Vox capability on here. I think that this thing can be improved slightly. I don't like how it has like that robotic voice every time you activate it or deactivate it. I'm not sure if there's a way to disable that. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty cool. Again, if you want the cheaper version of this that doesn't have the Vox capability on here, it's gonna cost you about 250 bucks, while this one's gonna cost you 500. But I do think that a Vox capability is important when it comes to a tactical style mask if you're working part of a team. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. Also guys, if you wanna get involved with the channel more directly, Patreon, it's a great way to support the channel, helps me buy guns, ammo, gear, all the kind of stuff that goes into running a gun channel, and it'll get you access to videos a little bit earlier than everyone else. But hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.